Oh, 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 dude, oh, there's a one with oh. it. There's one with it. Let me let me dude, drop dude, my jig. Dude, Wait, I got one. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we got a banger for y'all. You know, you guys have been asking. No, we're filming another big jig video, and that's exactly what we're about to do today. Got my boy Fletcher. We're gonna catch him. We're gonna catch him. We're gonna catch him good. It's Dude. been a minute since we've seen Fletcher on the channel too, man. Yeah, it's been what? Yeah, it's been like close to two months no i think it's gonna be a lot of fun i think we're gonna catch them really good we did have a little bit of rain so it like we were driving over here and it kind of like started so to mist <laughs> yeah and now it's like so humid but that'd be okay <laughs> then i got my boy bob man got What's alan good, bob boy? back on What's the channel good? you guys know in one of the recent videos we did one fish for 50 push-ups if you guys haven't seen that video you need to go check it out it's actually a lot of fun and uh that's a new series we're going to be dropping on the channel is one fish equals so if you guys have any content recommendations for that one drop them down below because we're going to be filming them so here's the pretty old place that we're going to go out on and here is the john boat that we're going to be getting on i think alan bob's going to hop on the boat with me he this is his first time being in one of these twin troller john boats so he'll hop on with me fletcher's going to be on his boat over there and uh we're just going to get out on this pretty place and try to catch some big bass bob don't leave me you better hurry up bro it's what are you doing bob leaving. What you doing, Bob? I'm gonna, I have to see what the big, uh, you know, I catch a lot of fish, so. Big fish. Big, big fish? Big fish. Big fish? Big fish? This big. That big. <laughs> hey, let's go try it. Well, let's get it started. So, Bob, first step is for Noah not to fall in, so. I wanna fix that seat. And we are going to hop in and bottom out. <laughs> It is really windy. Where did this wind come from, bro? What just happened? I swear, the weather was so nice about an hour ago, and then all of a sudden we're like, you know what, let's go fishing. So it starts to rain, the wind gets bad. I don't know, that happens like every time we just want to get out on the water. So Bob, since this is your first time on this boat, so you got these two pedals in the front, and you gotta fill them up with water first. So let me back us up off this bank, give us a little bit of room. For the trolling motors to work, you gotta pump the water in them. So, Look, we're gonna go on the right foot, right? It's gonna turn us to the left. Did you hear that? And now it's working. So I had to get water up in that chamber. So now we're gonna do left side. You hear it pumping that water in? Boom, and you're good from there. So this goes, you know, to the left. This one goes to the right. You hit both of them, you go fast, go straight, and then obviously, Hit it in reverse. It's a pretty cool little boat. But guys, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys what rods that I have with me today. Um, I brought a few tackle boxes out with me. Have some baits in there. Also have a few jigs. I brought my jig box. So we'll open that up, see what the options that we have today are, and uh, go from there. Now it's starting to rain. This is not what we want, but let's <laughs> let's get this video started. Well, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> we're already back on the bank. Got Bob right here. We literally just put in, I was about to pull out that box to show you guys what baits we're about to throw in, then it just started to rain. So we're like, you know what? While we're next to the golf carts, let's just wait a minute and uh, see if this will blow. Now it's like not even raining. I don't know what the weather, quick. this is the thing guys, we're over here by the coast, so the weather changes like every second. So it might say it's not going to rain, then all of a sudden it starts raining, or to say to have like a 100% chance and not rain at all. So we're going to take a 10 minute break, hopefully this will go by. Alright guys, we going back. We took a little, what Alan, five minute? Yeah, a little five minute break. A little five minute break, so now we're back on the water. In my seat is not wet did you wipe that down nice all right guys so we are gonna get it started go ahead and tie up our baits and hopefully catch a really big one today i think we have the opportunity to catch a few really good fish just gotta put our heads down cover some water and hopefully these fish bite good because the weather is a little weird so 
All right, so now it's the time that we're gonna go ahead and rig up. I'll show you guys what rod I'm throwing. This is the Mach 2 rod, and I have a Custom Pro reel on there. You guys know that's like one of my favorite <laughs> reels by Lou's. I've been enjoying it. I got that 17 pound fluorocarbon on here, and I have a fluke, but I'm actually gonna cut that off. This could be a good bait today, so we might throw it around a little bit, but like I said, we're gonna be throwing some big jigs. So I brought this box out. This is actually my big jig box. We got our black and blues on this side got some green pumpkins, some PB and J colors, and then also some more natural green pumpkin colors on this side. The water here is actually very clear. So when I'm fishing clear water, I wanna use more of my natural colors, my green pumpkins, my watermelon reds. Those are the colors I'm gonna to wanna to use in clear water. When it comes to dirty water and stained water, I'm wanting to use you know my black and blues, my black and reds, my darker colors. So that's just a rule of thumb that I go by. And um, the bait that I think I'm going to throw is this jig right here. By the way, if you guys want to get a discount on all striking products, I forgot to tell you guys this. I have my code, which I'll pop it up on the screen, and I'll put the link down below. You guys can get 10% off the entire striking website. And also for Lou's, I have a code for you guys as well for the Lou's website. But yeah, that is the jig that I'm throwing. This is actually green pumpkin with a blue swirl. I've caught a lot of great fish on this in the past, and uh, I'm excited to throw it. So let's go ahead and tie this thing up. We're just gonna throw a basic little crawl trailer on it and then get to work, see if we can catch some big fish. If you guys are wondering what knot I tie, standard union knot. You guys know that's my favorite knot of all time. I know a lot of people tie the polymer, but polymer's a good knot too. I, I tied it for years, but the union knot, in my opinion, is a lot stronger. They ran a bunch of tests on them, and I've just had a lot of good luck with the union knot. If my line does break, it's because of fray and me not retying. Wet our line, boom. Cut our tag in, we're good to go. It's a jig that we're gonna be throwing. And the trailer that I'm throwing, this is actually a Strike King Rage Bug, and this is in green pumpkin blue swirl as well, just like the jig, so it's actually gonna pair up perfectly. And these jigs have this little tiny screw lock on them, which keeps the bait on extra tight. You usually don't lose a lot of baits on these jigs when you screw lock them on. So I'm a big fan of it, you know, it, it saves you a lot of money just because you're not tearing up the crawls left and right. You know, they can stay on the bait, catch multiple fish on them, and all on out, it's just a, it's a great little addition to this jig. I'm a, I'm a fan of it. Boom, right there. What do you think, Alan Bob? Oh, that looks saucy, dude. Looks good, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Old big girl's gonna eat this today. First step is to get out to our first spot of the day. I don't want to just start casting and throwing around and wasting a bunch of time. I want to go where I think there's some fish at. So we'll get started and hopefully catch some good ones today. Alan, we're about to have a ball, dude. We're, we're going to catch some good fish. So just got to put our heads down and get to work. All right, Bob. So what we got, so you got this point right here. And there's a good bit of brush that hangs off. So if you cast right to the right of me, there's some trees down there. It's usually, it's gonna rain again. Are you kidding me? All right, maybe it won't be bad. <laughs> there you go. Maybe the rain won't be bad. Oh, it's bad. I know, dude. I'm in like a regular shirt. I wish I wore a shirt like yours now. Ooh, that rain is cold. I'm going through that brush right now. Yeah. Wind and rain is getting me good. Going up on the bank. Oh, oh, dude, there's one with it. There's one with it. Let me let me dude, drop my jig. Wait, I got one. Dude, there's like a hundred. There's like a, Bob, I got one. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude, there's multiple. Did you see how many fish? There were like four or five. Dude. dude they're, they're strong. Yeah, they're strong as can be. This rain is dumping on us, and we just got a good Come double up. Oh, dude. No. oh. <laughs> Oh, dude. dude, those are some nice fish. Did you see how many were under the boat dude, though? I saw it like, dude, I was reeling mine in, dude. That's what I was doing. I was like reeling it in to drop my bait next to you, and he just ate it. Dude, there's a whole go. school of them. Those are some oh nice fish. God. We just fired him up. Yeah, that was wild. Let's throw him back in and get, get get a couple more. Yeah, dude. I would pull out the big camera for you guys. That's a solid yeah, three, three something, yeah, but. about two and a half. Yeah. That's pretty good. Dude, that was wild. Yeah. Toss them in. 
Oh, dude. give me some, Bob. Dude, that was let's good. Go. Dude, the crazy part is there was like literally 10 fish on your jig. Like, that was crazy. Maybe this rain's got them all fired up. Okay, now that's the way to start it off. And now the rain just stopped. Thank God. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. We had like a freaking hundred of them under us. That was crazy. What sucks is I think we pulled them all off this spot. Yeah. I guess we'll see. We'll throw a few more casts, but they were stacked down there. That's for sure. Gosh. Wait. Oh my gosh. I started reeling it and he slammed it. Oh, he came off. With a glide? No, with a jig. It's like they want to move in bait today, dude. It's like right when I started reeling it. That's how both those fish were. Like I was working it on the bottom. I felt like a big one too. And I just started reeling it. I felt thump. Oh gosh, Bob. You got a freaking big one, dude. Oh, dude, that's a big one, Bob. It's not too big, it's just dark. It's dark as crap, dude. Why is a fish that dark? Look at that, that's crazy. Let's yes. go, yeah, dude. That's a good fish, that's buddy. A good fish. Look how dark he is, bro. Yeah, that's a really dark bass. Yeah, that's a really, really dark. He had it before it landed. I never even felt him hit it. It's just like, whoop, and that's gone. That's a good one. Yeah. Solid three pounder. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Nice, dude. Give me some. Let's get it. It's about three pounders. Let's get him back in the water. I don't want to hold him out too long. Nice fish. Let's get him back. There he goes. Give me some. What's up, Bob? Pow. Let's get it. Careful. Oh, I got one. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's a good one, dude. It's fighting hard. Not a big one. Not a bad one, but he's not a big one. Not bad. It's like a little two pounder. Healthy two pounder though. <laughs> the hobs in the boat. There we go. I <laughs> get you in the face. Right in the eye, dude. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Beautiful fish right there. It's about a pound and a half, but pretty markings on him. He's right there on the edge of that lay down. We've noticed today just fish are roaming a lot, but this fish was tucked up under the cover. Beautiful lateral line. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's get back in there. So guys, we were hitting a bunch of this offshore stuff. I thought I had a bite there, it scared me. Yeah, we we're fishing on all this offshore structure and brush piles and all this stuff. There's a lot of fish on it. It was just what we've really noticed today is they're not wanting to eat a bottom bait and it's so funny because in the big worm video that i posted recently we, we talked about it in there and we were like you know every time we want to film over a specific bait they're not eating that bait that well that day so it's like we could be throwing something else right now and just putting a smack down on these bass but we're trying to force feed them a jig right now so we kind of started switching up what we're doing. Now we're fishing this bank right here with a bunch of laydowns, a bunch of overhangs, skipping this jig up under it and just seeing if we can catch any resident fish that live on these laydowns. We'll go back to some of those offshore spots here in a bit and we'll just kind of cast our jig out there. And I might even switch up my retrieve and start reeling it because like I said, these fish are roaming today. They want to eat something that's moving. So we're going to hit some of these laydowns for a bit maybe flip around this dock see if we can catch one or two and then maybe go up in this pocket try that out and then go back to some of the offshore stuff oh, some under oh alan alan drop your jig oh whoo, he's about to eat he's about to eat. just drop it oh my gosh what i didn't see wait that. you never saw that oh. you had like a four pounder right behind you bro all you had to do is drop that jig you would have oh i thought you saw him I wonder why you didn't say anything. I was like, dude, he was like this right behind it, dude. Just, <laughs> yeah. He was a little farther behind your jig, but 
Oh man, yeah, he was coming for it. <laughs> what you want to tell me? Oh gosh. Wait, you got one? got one? Oh, oh dude, no. mine's a good one too. Oh, dude, yours was a dang big one too. Oh my gosh. Dude. Mine only has one eye. That's why I ate it. <laughs> oh, I got the one that's blind, boys. Dude, I just missed mine. We had to double up right there. Yeah, dude. That would've been our second double up today. Mine's hooked very weird. Hopefully it doesn't come dude, off. Mine was so weird. Like it landed on that seawall. Yeah. And it felt like it never dropped. I just had that fish right there. Look at that. That's a nice one, dude. He's not no giant, but that's a dang nice fish, bro. Look at that jig hanging out of his mouth, too. You gotta love it. That jig bite's so much fun, guys. Like, I would love to pick up a fluke or something right now and just start waylaying these bass. But you can't complain with the jig. You know, it's a lot of fun. And I just love catching big bass on it. And usually the size of the fish that you catch on it are good. And as you guys can tell today, we've, we've caught some great fish. I just wish you would've got that one, Bob. That stinks. Bob had a double up, but you can tell by that eye, he's like kind of blind. But let's get this pretty, pretty boy back in the water. I will say these fish are really healthy and beautiful. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Oh, dude, hammered that thing. That was an awesome little catch right there. Super clear water, look at that. Dude, he choked it too. That thing, he was ready to eat it. Oh my gosh, did you choke it? No, don't get us wet. We're already wet from the rain. Look at that one. Beautiful fish. Smunched it. <laughs> that was fun. I skipped right up under that tree and like that bite was wild. Look at his tail too, man. That was an interesting tail. Very interesting. It's like cut off and then, I don't know, that's weird. Still a pretty fish. Thick and chunky, healthy. Around like a little two pounder. Thank you, buddy. Get you back in the water so you can swim another day. There he goes. He didn't come up, kick up a ton of water with that tail. His tail is all narrowed out. Give me something, Bob. Bow. Bow. So the main purpose was to throw this big jig, but I'm gonna tell you guys, it has been calling my name since we've been out here. I have to tie a fluke on. I have to give it a shot. And I think it would be some really cool content. I think skipping this fluke way up under these laydowns, one, I think the fish are gonna eat it. And two, I just think we're gonna see some come up for it like a top water and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit tie this pearl white fluke on i have it on a three aught extra wide gap hook we're going to tie the same knot which is a uni boom wet our line pal cut our tag in boom so you know i talked about it earlier but you know these fish what we've noticed today one our conditions you know we got cloudy skies when we have cloudy skies what bass tend to do is roam a lot more when it's super sunny out those fish are going to tuck up on cover a lot easier but when it is cloudy, they're gonna be roaming, they're gonna be going up and down the banks. They're not gonna be necessarily pushed up on that cover how you want them when you're throwing like a jig or a bottom bait. So we're gonna tie this fluke on and try to see if this is gonna help us catch more fish. You got one? You have one? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, Bob! Whoa. That was a big. That was a four plus pounder. Yeah, that was, like a good one. yeah that, was, that was a four pounder. He followed you. He did yeah. eat you then, yeah. dude. He, I think he had him on the bottom. Like hit him on the bottom, and he followed it up. Okay. Get him, Bob. Big him, Bob. Big him, Bob. Oh my gosh, that's a mega. Bob got a freaking tank. 
Oh gosh, yeah, that's a good one. Dude, she's fighting hard. Please don't jump. I don't, I don't think she's ready to come in, bro. You think she's ready? You got one? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. Get him up here, Bob. That's your biggest one today, buddy. Let's go, dude. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice, dude. That's a nice fish. Give me some, bro. Pow. That's a good fish. All right, guys. Let's uh go ahead and get her back in the water. Thank you for biting. Really nice fish. There she goes. Give me Bob. Some. Let's, Pow. Get it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Dude. That's a big. Dude, the way that that fish ate that trap. He ain't even that big, dude. What? That was wild, though. <laughs> nice one. Dude, he ate it freaking weird. He ate it head first. That's probably why it felt so weird. The way, he, the way it felt like he ate it is he ate it in the back of his throat. <laughs> Old UPS guy <laughs> said, dang, bro, we got fish. go boys and girls it's a pretty one not a giant but it's a good nice fish right there a little golden bass a little cut in his tail too that thing slammed that trap right there it's a lot of fun all right guys well we just got off the water caught a bunch of good fish on the jig and uh you know switched up to the fluke can i believe we didn't even have a fish on that that blows my mind had a bunch of big ones swirl on it switch up to the trap last minute caught a few fish and uh, we are off to another video now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Check out my man Fletcher's channel. Let's go. In the description box down below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.